Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking another look into image generation, but this time with an added tool that can really improve any current workflow. We'll be exploring a powerful tool called OpenWeb UI, which not only lets you chat with large language models like ChatGPT, Grok, and open source language models, but also allows you to generate stunning images right within your current chat session. It's very similar to the experience you might have with OpenAI's Dolly 3, but with even more flexibility and customization. Imagine crafting detailed image prompts with your language model and instantly seeing those visions come to life as images. That's the power of OpenWebUI's image generation feature. We'll be focusing on how to connect your custom ComfyUI workflows, powered by cutting-edge models like the Flux family, specifically the Spell and Dev models, to generate images within OpenWebUI's text generation chat. This is incredibly useful for creating compelling marketing visuals, brainstorming creative concepts, or even just having fun exploring the possibilities of AI art. You could use it to generate images for your blog posts, social media content, or even product mockups. And because OpenWebUI is self-hosted, you have complete control over your data and privacy. OpenWebUI gives you several options for generating images, including Automatic 11, Stable Diffusion, a popular open source image generation model known for its stability and reliability, which OpenWebUI can connect to via its API, allowing you to generate images based on your prompts. Another option is ComfyUI, another open source image generation framework offering a node-based interface for building and customizing image generation workflows. You can also use OpenAI DALL-E if you have access to its API to generate images within OpenWebUI. DALL-E is known for its ability to generate high-quality images from complex prompts. For today's tutorial, we'll be using ComfyUI with the Flux models. The Flux family of models, developed by Black Forest Labs, are relatively new but have quickly gained recognition for their impressive image generation capabilities. The Schnell and Dev models are particularly noteworthy for their speed and quality. We'll be using the Flux Dev Quantize GUNF model, which offers a great balance between performance and resource usage. I have a separate tutorial on how to set up the Flux models with ComfyUI, which I'll link in the description below. Stay tuned for the next part of this video, where we'll walk through the step-by-step -step process of connecting your custom ComfyUI workflow to OpenWebUI and start generating amazing images right in your chat. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more awesome AI content. All right, let's get our hands dirty and walk through setting up image generation in OpenWebUI using ComfyUI and the Flux models. Remember, I've covered OpenWebUI and ComfyUI in detail in previous videos, so I'll link those down in the description if you need a refresher. First, ensure you have OpenWebUI installed. If you don't, a quick way to do this is by running the command pip install OpenWebUI using Python 3.11. For a more detailed tutorial, including setting up OpenWebUI in a Minicon environment, check out my previous video with the link in the description. Once installed, start the server by running OpenWebUI Serve, which will launch the OpenWebUI webpage. Next, you'll need ComfyUI installed. If you're planning to use your own custom workflows with stable diffusion models, make sure you have all the necessary custom nodes installed and that your workflow is functioning correctly before proceeding. If you're using a Flux workflow or want to use the one I'll be demonstrating, ensure your workflow works and consider watching my previous video on setting up GUNF or NF4 workflows and installing the required custom nodes if needed. Start ComfyUI and launch its web page. Load your desired workflow and run a quick test generation to confirm everything is working as expected. Now, click the settings gear icon in the top right of the sidebar menu to access the settings. Find the enable dev mode option and check the box to enable it. This will allow us to save our workflow in a JSON format compatible with the API. Exit the settings and you'll notice a new option in the right sidebar menu called Save API Format. Click it to save your current workflow in API format to your desired location. 
keep Comfy UI running and navigate back to Open Web UI. In Open Web UI, click the profile icon in the top right and go to the admin panel. Click on Admin Panel Settings and then navigate to the Images section. This is where you configure image generation settings for Open Web UI. You have three options Stable Diffusion, Comfy UI, and OpenAI Dolly 3. Dolly 3 is the simplest, requiring only an API key from the OpenAI website, but be aware of the associated costs. To use Automatic 1111, Stable Diffusion, you'll need to launch it on your device with the API flag enabled and enter the API URL in the provided field. However, using SD limits the customizable settings for image generation and offers less flexibility. In this video, we'll be using the Comfy UI Custom Workflow option for its versatility and customization possibilities. Select Comfy UI from the drop-down menu and copy the Comfy UI URL link from its terminal pasting it into the URL field in Open Web UI. You can test the connection by clicking the spiral icon next to the field. Enable image generation by clicking the button and then upload your API workflow created earlier by clicking click here to upload a workflow.json file. Now comes a crucial step. Carefully examine the Comfy UI workflow to identify the six node numbers needed for the Comfy UI workflow nodes section. Node numbers are located above each node settings in the workflow and are typically left aligned in the JSON file. For example, the width and height nodes might have the node ID of 5, since the ID is highlighted in quotes just above the location where they are located. Then, you would do the same for the remaining nodes. The prompt node here would be 6. Further down, the UNET model node is 27. And the sampler node with the steps and seed settings is 30. Enter these numbers into the corresponding fields in the Comfy UI Workflow Nodes section. If you're using my Flux Gunf workflow, ensure the models are in the UNET folder within the models directory and copy the model name from the workflow into the designated field. Set your desired resolution, the number of steps for each generated image, and save your settings. Next, head to the Connections tab to ensure your LLM model is connected. To save memory since Comfy UI is already running, I'll connect to the Grok API for fast inference using their Llama 3.170B model by entering the Grok base URL and my API key, then saving. With settings configured, return to the main chat menu and select your model. Now I will have the model generate a prompt for an image idea. Be sure remind the model to reply only with the prompt for better image generation results. Once the model provides a prompt, click the small image icon below the chat bubble to initiate an API request with the prompt message. You'll know it's working if no errors appear and a loading message replaces the image generation button. You can also monitor progress in the Comfy UI terminal. If you encounter an error, simply click the image icon to retry. I tend to get an error or two when I first initiate a request, but it starts working fine after a few retries. Upon completion, the generated image will appear in the chat UI. Tap for a closer look, and if you'd like to regenerate, click the image icon again. Remember to save your image before generating others, as new images will replace the old ones. This is hands down one of the best ways to get any model that's compatible with Open Web UI to generate well thought out and accurate image prompts. And there you have it. You've successfully integrated your Comfy UI workflows with Open Web UI to generate images directly within your chat sessions. This powerful combination opens up a world of creative possibilities, allowing you to explore the synergy between language and image generation. Don't be afraid to experiment with different workflows, models, and prompt engineering techniques to discover what works best for you. The world of AI image generation is constantly evolving, so stay curious and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more exciting explorations into the world of AI and technology. And as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts, 
questions and experiences in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation and learn from each other. Until next time, happy creating!